now we are going across live to Elise. Take it away, Elise. Thank you, Karen. I hope you're all well. Now we're going to hear about how COVID is affecting Australia and its people. We're going to see what George has to say. Yes, thank you for having me today. COVID is affecting me because I cannot see my grandchildren and I have a newborn grandson. <coughs> and I haven't seen him yet. I have been trying to get them some gifts, but I don't know how to do the online shopping. Thank you, George. I'm sure you work it out soon. Now, Kelly, how is COVID affecting you? Yeah, COVID has been like really, really hard because I haven't been able to do shopping. Like, I really need to get those new joggers to go walking with my friends. Karen and Sarah, ugh, they're amazing people. I also can't do dress shopping for my wedding. His name's Adam, by the way. He's a lovely guy. Well, now we're going to be talking to the Year 12 student at Highwood High School. Yeah, COVID sucks because I can't go to Westwood with all my mates hang out and I can't see my girlfriend, Chloe. What about school? How is COVID affecting your schooling? Yeah, school's hard too. Thank you, Rocky. Now we're going to be passing over to Amy, the hairdresser. How is COVID affecting your business? Hi, I'm Amy, the hairdresser. I've lost all my business and I have no more money. Thank you, Amy. Now over to Karen. We have one more very, very special guest joining us tonight. All the way from Canberra, you heard it, the one and only Scott Morrison. Take it away, Scott. Thank you for having me tonight on C News. I would just love to say thank you for all the people getting vaccinated in New South Wales. What is it looking like for younger kids under 11 years old? Are they getting vaccinated? We don't force, but soon enough we'll have to force people to get vaccinated. Thank you for having me on C News tonight. Thank you, Scott, and thank you all the viewers across the world who are watching C News. Don't forget about tomorrow's banger cash prize. I am Karen Cloud reporting to you live. Thank you, stay safe, and good night. Thanks, brah. Thank you. You guys are amazing people. Thanks. How do you turn this damn thing off? Okay, Meredith, time to start your schoolwork for the day. It's 8.30. Okay. Blue today, thank you, darling. this journey, it all began when the town of cats were put on a sleeping spell. Three young cats who had managed to escape were entrusted with the mission. They had been asked to retrieve the cat gems to save the town. Let's see where they're going. Hey guys, yeah. tell me this is yeah. a mission to get cupcakes, right? No. no. Hey, where's Minnie? Hey guys, look what I found, it's my new best friend. Oh my god! My best friend! No! <laughs> I think it's dead. <laughs> my best friend! It'll be alright. Best friend! How, How dare, dare you? you? Guys, let's keep going already! <sighs> I think this is where we'll find the 
can. Look, it's right up there. I can go get it. Okay. Minnie, concentrate. <gasps> Minnie, stop. Look. I got it. Now what do we do? We run. <laughs> you must hurry, young ones. Place the gemstones in the magical casing inside the whimsical cottage amongst your town. Hurry! I'm starving. Let's eat first, then do it. No, for the last time! That must be where we're supposed to put the stone in. Yeah. On the count of three. One, two, three. We, we did, did it! Now we can eat. <laughs> and so there you have it. The tale of the journey for Cat Rock. They saved the town and so that leaves us with a happy ending. the bank oh cool man hey over there look I think she'd have some money Hi, hands up It is one of my favourite flowers. I love the different colours of purple. You can see it looks like there are tiny, tiny little flowers that are all connected to make this bigger flower. The stems are quite long and strong to hold the flower up high.
There are lots of different purples. This is my favourite one. I wish you were here to be able to smell this flower. It is a strong but lovely scent. Some people say that lavender holds great benefits for people who suffer from anxiety and depression. It can have a calming effect to help relieve stress. Some people believe it can even help with pain after a surgery. The most common use for lavender is to help people get a better sleep because the scent can be calming, people can become more relaxed and sleep better after smelling lavender. These bees love lavender flowers. Lavender is important for our way of life, especially for pollinators. Pollinators are animals or insects that collect pollen. Some of these inc include butterflies, bees and hummingbirds. The strong smell attracts the pollinators to the flower. I have never tried it myself, but some people use lavender to flavour their food and drinks. I wonder what that would taste like. Very hot summer, it would need some shade in the afternoon to help protect from the ash sun rays. Maybe if you had a place you you would you could try to grow some lavender in your garden. It may even help you get a better night's sleep. Thanks for learning about lav lavender with me. Until next time, this is Montana. Welcome to Lily's Car, The Unexplained. Number 52, why does mum keep buying face masks and hand sanitizer? I'm here to help, and we're going to get to the bottom of this. <laughs> I'm here at my house to investigate. I brought Emma's back up. And I brought Peppa, my favourite toy. She can help because she knows all about dirty stuff. Isn't that right, Peppa? Oink, oink. I like money bottles. But that toy is disgusting. Remember when you were two and you threw it in the toilet? What? <clears throat> that never happened. Okay, Peppa, do you want to go for a swim? What did you find? Eee, that was hilarious! Okay, looks like I'm on my own. I wonder what all this stuff could mean. Uh, yeah, sure darling, that's it. With these steady hands, I 
could be a brilliant surgeon. Uh oh. So there you have it. Tune in next week while I work out why our dogs keep eating everything. <laughs>
don't we go and see Finn, R2, and Dio? Dio, Dio. Hey, what's up, everybody? <sighs> Get back up, him. I don't want to. You're too bad for you. So, so tired. Ah, spaceship! Ah! Oops. <laughs> Never mind. Hey, Cap. Yeah, I am, man. I wonder when the n is the next time we are gonna meet Thanos. Yeah, you're right. Maybe we should find Thanos. Best if we probably shouldn't because he's always getting into trouble. Bad trouble. Uh, oh well, let's just continue to do our jobs. Kylo Ren. Thanos. So we meet again. Yes, that is right. We meet again. How about let's destroy some buildings and universes? Yeah, I'll have the Star Wars, you you have the Marvel. Let's go! Team Bad Guys. No choice but to destroy the Harry Potter Galaxy, Kylo, yes, Thanos. So we meet again, Jedi. Well, uh, there's no way I'll suspect you. But did you suspect of this? Or this? Okay, you've won. Kylo got beaten? Must have been careless. Well, 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 Thanos. get that monster out of my wardrobe but first I better gear up gotta put on my goggles I better put on my helmet too and just to be safe maybe I should put on an oven mitt and a slipper oh and just for good luck maybe a banana now to defeat whatever inside you Wardrobe. Well, I, I was playing in the wardrobe because it's a perfect spot to play. Mm -hmm. And then someone locked me in. And I was banging on the door to get out, but no one um helped me. So, do you know? <laughs> Might have been me. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
This may not seem like it, but it happens to him every day. Man, I wish I had a better job. Hi, welcome home. Hey. What's wrong? People disrespect me. Well, for one thing, I don't make every day count. Go live your life. Guess I should. Fine. Scissors, paper, shoot. Hello. Hello. Hey, what are you doing here? Get out. Now, I'm going to take this. <coughs> ha, ha. Hey, stop that. Stop. <coughs> guys, stop. Just have a hug with me. Come on, guys. Francis Greenway was born in Gloucestershire, England in the year 1777. Francis studied and became an architect of some importance. In 1809, at the age of 31, he became bankrupt for some reason. In 1812, he went to court and pleaded guilty to the capital charge of forgery. Firstly, he was sentenced to death. Then it was changed to transportation for 14 years to the colony of New South Wales. He was transported on a ship, the General Hewitt, and arrived in Sydney on February 1814. When Francis arrived in Sydney, he sent letters of reference and his portfolio of drawings to Governor Macquarie. Francis didn't do much hard labour as a convict. In July 1814, he met Governor Macquarie, who put him to work on government buildings between 1816 and 1818. While Francis was still a convict, he designed and built the Macquarie Lighthouse on the south head of Port Jackson. After this, he was made free and given the job of government architect. He went on to design and build many important buildings, including Hyde Park Barracks, Government House and St James Church. Francis died of typhoid in 1837 at the age of 59. Nobody knows the day he died. He is buried in Maitland in an unmarked grave. To this day, his buildings still stand and he appears on the old paper $10 note. The end.
Hey, E, I'm hungry. Do you know what I really feel like? No, Bill. I don't know what you feel like. I feel like some kale. You don't look like kale. No, silly. I want to eat some kale. Okay. Why don't you go and eat some kale? Because I don't have any kale. Those guinea pigs have all the kale. Those kale queens control the kale in the kingdom. Why don't you go and steal some kale? Some kale won't do. We need to take one of those guinea pigs and force them to give us all the kale. Well, how are you going to do that? L listen, I have a plan. Cookie, Cookie, that's strange. I can't find Cookie anywhere. Hmm, maybe she's over here? Cookie, where are you? Where could Cookie be? Hey, what's this? It's a note. I'm going to see what it says. It says, to Snow, we've kidnapped your sister Cookie. To get her back, you need to give us all the kale you have from E and Ville. Cookie has been kidnapped. Oh no! Hello? Hello? Is anybody there? Oh, where am I? How am I going to get out of here? Ha ha ha! We've caught Cookie and she's our prisoner. And soon all the cow will be ours. <laughs> the villains E and Ville have taken Cookie. They are not going to get away with this. And they are not going to get our kale. Cookie, I'm coming! Hello, Snow. Do you have our cow? No, I do not have your cow. And give me back my sister or else. Or else what? That'll teach you to mess with a guinea pig, her sister, and her delicious cow. Cookie, I'm coming! Hmm, this doesn't look too hard. I just need some muscle power. Eh, eh, there we go. Snow, you rescued me. Of course I rescued you, Cookie. You're my sister. Thanks so much, Snow. You're the best sister ever. Let's get out of here. Thanks for saving the day, Snow. Anytime, Cookie. You know how we can celebrate? Kale, Kale party! Next time, guinea pig. Next time! Never give up and always reach for your dreams. Find something awesome every day and carry it with you. Find the sun on a cloudy day.
Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Awesome News Report. Coming up today, we will travel to Cherry Forest Lane to take a look at a brand new cheese shop the locals are going crazy for. Then to an interview of an extremely energetic puppy. And finally, the weather report. Now over, over to Cherry Forest Lane to try some truly amazing cheese. I'm Sarah Phillips, and today I'm at number 12, Cherry Forest Lane at the Cheese Land Cheese Shop which has opened quite recently and I've heard the best reviews about. Today I will be taste testing their best cheeses. Let's go. The first cheese she's going to try is the marinated goat's fat. Mm. 10 out of 10. Okay, the second cheese that you're going to try is the vintage uh, cheddar. My name is Margaret Jones and I am the owner of the cheese shop Cheeselandia and it is my great pleasure to be here today answering your questions. Alright, that's amazing. Alright, first question, where did your passion for cheese come from? Well, my mother and my father and everyone before that basically, they all were really big cheese makers and um, they really enjoyed making cheese and I just was like, I just think cheese is such a beautiful food and I really want to be a cheese maker too, so that's why I'm here now. That's really, like, amazing. Alright, uh, what is your favourite cheese to make? Well, it's probably camembert. I really like camembert, it's kind of like really nice and creamy and all the flavours are just brilliant and it's a really creative and fun process. Hello, it's Captain Cheese here from Cheeseland. Do you know that a cheese shop's open just near you? But already there's been a robbery. Do you know what the men do yelled at the attempted cheese thief? That's Nacho cheese! So he called the police, and a detective came, and he said he smelled something suspicious. What he actually smelled was great prices! 50% of everything stock wide! That is one great deal! So don't forget to come in at your next convenience! See you soon! Hello Frankie, it's a pleasure to be here. How are you? I'm very good, thank you. So, we're wondering, what's your favourite food? Dog food! Okay. So, I've heard that you might enjoy destroying the garden. Absolutely. It's like a hobby for me. Okay, well, um... Frankie, Frankie, come back! Um, bye. Hi, everyone. It's Susan. And today, they'll, and I'm going to tell you the weather. So, today, there will be a high of 7 and a low of minus 3. And it will be snowing most of the day. But tonight, there will be a blizzard continuing on through tomorrow. Tomorrow, there will also be a high of 2 and a low of minus five. But don't worry because temperatures will start to warm up on Thursday. Thank you for listening. Hey girls, how are you going? Good. What are you up to today? We're planting our casserinas. That's what the glossy black cockatoos eat. That's great. Because the alacasserina is what our native black cockatoos eat. And when those fires came through here, we lost a lot of that species. It's actually a threatened species down here in the Megalong and Darabalat clan country, which is a part of the Gundungara nation. Even where I live up on top in Gadumba clan country, the Casuarinas were impacted by the fires and we need to look after the cockatoo. Boral is like the name for the cockatoo. Guba Burai is yellow tail and Garal is our cockatoo and we've got to keep that species going. So in my language, Jarangji girls, thank you for planting those other Casuarinas. Hey David, can you tell us about cool burning and how it works? Okay, Megalong Public Girls, how about we go have a yarn about that? Because when we talk about Aboriginal cultural burns and cool burns, we probably need to sit over in the yarning circle. So culturally, we always sat around campfires. My mum always talked about the place of learning was, was at a campfire. So that's why it's good to sit here. The Aboriginal cultural burn or cool burn that we mentioned 
It's something we've done for thousands of years. So you look across the bush, you look over at the other environment over there, you see that it's got good water and moisture in it. So you know that when you put your burn in, it's gonna stop over there. So you burn according to the environment. So sometimes we think, oh, we've got to protect our places, you know, like our school. Yes, that'll, that'll help if you do the cool burns, but predominantly the goal is to look after country, to keep country strong. So these plants that you're planting that will look after our threatened species, the cool burn will, will do that because what happens when it goes through the ground, within about five minutes, you can take your shoes off and walk across there because it's weird to think that fire and cool go together. But that's what happens in an Aboriginal cool burn. The bugs will run up the, the tree about one or two metres. They'll just go up because they trust us. They just realise that when you burn how it has been for thousands of years, they'll stop. Once the fire's gone through, about five minutes goes by, they come back down and everything comes back strong. So that's why I think that when we're planting threatened species to look after all these birds and animals, that if we put in a cool burn in afterwards, the country will stay strong. Does that all make sense? Yes, it does. Thanks, David. Well, I think we should get back to planting. The glossy black cockatoos will be here soon. Okay, let's go. as much as you like. 
Beat the butter and icing sugar one cup at a time. Make sure you sift it, you don't want bumps. After adding icing sugar gradually, you can add whatever flavour you like. I always go for vanilla. Because butter is a little bit yellow, you can add whitener. Whitener gives you a lighter base when it comes to adding colours like blue. And now it's time to ice. Put a blob under the cake to help it stay in place. When it comes to icing whole cakes, you want to be a bit like Alice in Wonderland. That means you want to turn things upside down. This way you get sharp corners and a flat top. Use a blunt knife or a paddle to spread the buttercream around the cake. Next, use a tool to scrape it back to a smooth surface. If you don't have a tool, use a ruler. When you're using a piping bag, it's always best to stand it up in a glass so it's easier to fill. I like to do a practice round on baking paper. Squeezing gently, twirl your wrist while pulling upwards. I'm Mia from Mama Mia Cake. Happy decorating! Hi, I'm Faith the Plant Man, and I'm reporting to you live from my plantastic backyard. And I'm going to talk to you about my favorite plant. This is the more mysterious delicioso. This is how it starts. This is it growing, and this is how it's fully grown, and it comes from Mexico. 
this is the fruit. It, it's called Delicioso because the fruit is delicious. And this is the part that it grows in. This is a prehistoric plant. I like it because it's big green, which is my favorite color. Get ready for some fun facts. I'm Plantman Pete. Thanks for listening. Spending time in lockdown, you really get to see what's going on in your backyard. Lots of litter. Someone's made a mess. But look, it's all blue. What's going on? Inside the hedge, there's a bower made of sticks. It's a bower bird! The male satin bowerbird has done a lot of work collecting sticks, building its bower, decorating it with blue. Why is he doing this? He's trying to get the attention of a female bowerbird to mate with him. He attracts her with bird calls and the colour blue. For a lot of birds, blue is a good sign of health. Many have blue eggs. His bluish colour leads other birds away from her and the nest, while she is hard to see. Can you see her? He's also built his bower in a hidden spot for protection from other birds. He also has a good food supply because the chickens get fed every day. Yum. I've seen two to three females around, so I think he's been pretty successful. This has been Reese. Thank you for listening. Hi everyone, I'm Ben and I've been homeschooling. And I've been doing a little bit of silly business and I've been doing zooms and been doing sport and I love playing with my puppy Maxi and I like having breaks with my mum. Bye, I love homeschooling. Hi, I'm Natalie. When I do learning from home, it's kind of like learning at school. I still, I still get to do maths, spelling, reading eggs, STEM and art. My favourite thing is writing. My teacher gives me a picture to write a story about. I do miss my friends and teacher, but I am lucky to have a big sister to homeschool with. Jacob, today I'm telling you about my favourite animal, 
a lion. Lion's roar can be up to heard for eight kilometers away. And most lions live in Africa. And they have really big names. It's all written down in my animal book. Here it is. They have really sharp teeth. And they, let me see this. And they also, uh, they also have really soft fur. And they real, and they sometimes, they, they if they were going to be attacked, they could defend themselves off credit predators. And they are carnivores. And what else I know? Uh, they um, are really heavy. It says here. Well, that was some information about lions. Back to the studio. Thanks for listening to Jacob's News. Zoom in next week. Bye-bye. Hi, my name is Rose, and today I'm going to talk in the, about um, an amazing creature, and it is slime and had suckers. Can you guess it? Yes, it's a leech and you would usually find it in the hot seasons and you would usually find it around dams and in wet places. Today is a really wet day so I'm going to try and find a leech. Come on, let's go! As you can see here, it's very wet and look what I've found, a little leech. Now we're going to talk about the description of a leech. Now you might think leeches um, are not the slimiest creatures, but you might think snakes are, but they're not. Leeches are really slimy. And what they look like is they look all slimy and they can suck your blood. And, and what it eats is it eats, it sucks your blood and that's what it can eat and it eats meat. So yeah, and see how the leech has these nippers to suck so this is a sucker here and that's another sucker leeches have two suckers okay so here's the leech again and now i'm going to talk about its life cycle in my box of leech here leeches it says leech life cycle start as as an egg cocoon and it goes to a young and an adult and it keeps going and keeps going, never stops. So how it moves is it puts one sucker out, then puts the other one next to it, then puts one sucker out. Oh my goodness, I've just realised it sucked my hand. Oh, sucked some blood out of me. Oh, that cheeky rascal. Now we're talking about any other information and, and leeches um, helped people if they had hurt themselves or had a wound and got stitches. It sucks the black blood, blood out and helps the people to um, recover and get the bad blood out. Hope you've enjoyed my project. Just to finish off, how a leech protects itself is it can, can camouflage and it holds on tight to you and sucks your blood and it looks so slimy. Here are some pictures of leeches. This is what one that looks like up close. That's its sucker there. And this one's just sucking the blood. Have a nice weekend. Is there any questions? Kids cooking dispenser. Today I'm going to show you how to make fruit and veggie bites. For this recipe, you're going to need two cups of flour, one cup of oats, one teaspoon of baking powder, one cup of grated carrot, one cup of grated zucchini, one grated apple, one soft banana that I have smashed, 
half a cup of honey, one egg lightly beaten, 50 grams of melted butter, and half a cup of white chocolate chips. This step is optional, but I think you should add it. The first thing we need to do is preheat the oven to 170 degrees. Now we need to grease the muffin tin. Now I'm going to grab a large mixing bowl. I'm add the flour, oats, and baking powder. And mix it well. Once that's done, I'll grab the carrot, zucchini, apple, and banana. And mix it through. Lastly, I'm going to add the honey. and butter. Now we're going to get the grease muffin pan. Pop two spoons of mixture into a muffin hole. Looks like we've got a little bit extra. Now this is the optional part. Grab your white chocolate chips and sprinkle evenly over your bites. Now it's time to bake. Let's whack these into the oven for 15 to 20 minutes. Once they're done cooking, let them cool on a wire rack. Mmm, it smells so good. See you next time on Kids Cooking with Spencer. Don't mind if I do. Mmm. I don't need books, I don't need teachers, all I need are my hot looks and I can talk my way into anything. Hello, why are you here today? I'm here today because I think I'm a great fit for this job because I showed up to school every day and I'm very, very smart. Can I please see your resume? What's a resume? I think I've had enough. Next! Hello. Why are you here today? I'm here today because I think I have the qualities you're looking for for this job.
Can I please see your resume? Sure. Okay, thanks. Wow, that's amazing. Next. Ring, 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 ring. Hello. Hello, is this Sienna? Yes, it is. I've got some fantastic news for you. Really? What is it? You got the job. Wait, really? Thanks. Yeah, I'll see you on Monday. Bye. Okay, see you then. Yes. So excited for you to get this call. So am I. I cannot wait to get the job of my dreams. You are going to be rich like me. I know, ring, ring. right? That's the call. I know, right? Hello? Is this Ambrielle? Yes. I've got some news for you. What's the news? You didn't get the job. But you can be her assistant, but it doesn't pay as good. Oh no! Bye! Bye! I've got some news for you too. What's the news? You're getting disowned. Disowned? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, wait. Is that the job used to bully us? I think it is. Let's go! <laughs> suspicious robbery and a new vibe so it's good for you so don't go anywhere. Now back to that robbery. As you can see on the security camera, it looks like two men are breaking into this house at night. Um, what I miss about school is maths in my classroom. Hi, my name is Skyla. I miss school so much. I am good at reading and math. I miss Mrs. Franklin too. What I miss about school is play program, my friends and Mrs. Franklin, and I also miss lunch and reading. This is what I miss about school. I miss playing with my friends and my teacher. I miss about school with my friends and Mrs. Franklin and my berry. Good morning, Mrs. Franklin. I'm going to do what I like about school. 
Well, I like it at school when I get to play with my friends. Um, hi, what I miss about school is my friends, reading groups, teachers, and Draco. Bye. What I miss about school is mass rotation, play program, and play equipment. And I miss you a lot, Mrs. Franklin. Bye-bye. Okay. The thing I miss most about school is play program and friends. I miss school and I miss my friends and I miss the play equipment. I miss playing with my friends at the field and I miss Mrs. Franklin. I miss my friends and I miss... Mrs. Franklin. Hi, Mrs. Franklin. I'm going to tell you what I miss about school. I miss the reading groups, math rotations, my friends, the playground, the field, the pebble creek, lunch, and recess. Bye. See you. What I like about school is um. They program my friends and my teacher. Bye. I'm going to sing a song called Do It Together. You've got to dance home. You've got to find a friend. You've got to only remember to do it together. Anyway, bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
afternoon, teachers and students. Sorry for the interruption. Mr Winnie, could you please make your way immediately to your classroom of 12H? Thank you. When we need Winnie, he always disappears. Winnie, are you OK? Winnie, where have you gone? Winnie, where's your mask? I got one for you. When we come into the classroom, Winnie's so excited to see us. Oh! What's Winnie's favourite thing to do? I know, he loves to call out. So, once we've added our tens family together, then we need to go ahead and add our ones family. I hate this work, it's terrible! Guys, let's go play class hide and seek! Yeah! We'll see you all, Winnie will hide. Winnie, how did you get up there? <laughs> <laughs> Look, we kids, we sometimes get in trouble. But office referrals are no joke. Winnie, what, what are, are you doing, doing here? here? Sometimes we play soccer with Winnie. Usually he's the goalie and he's really good. <laughs> Okay guys, have a wonderful afternoon. Wait, right off. Winnie's in your bag. is dad. 
she loves to cuddle with him. But she does get me in trouble a lot at school with Mr. Sherman. Good morning, class. Good morning, Mr. Sherman. It's time to hand in your homework. Here you go, Mr. Sherman. Thank you. Here you go, Mr. Sherman. Thank you. Um, Mr. Sherman might go take my homework. Well, I've heard some fibs in my time, but this one takes the porcupines. Is your nose beginning to grow? She didn't believe me, but she really did. Didn't you see the chew that paper, Mr. Sherman? <laughs> thing about Goat Goat is she gets my annoying brother for me. <laughs> They're just some of the reasons why I love Goat Goat. Hey, Masky. Oh, name's not Masky. It's Sir Face a lot. Thank you very much. Sir Face a lot. That's a funny name. Well, what's your name, fellow Mask? Darren, but my mates call me Dazza. Oh well, okay then. What type of face mask are you? Cause I'm a three ply black cotton washable face mask. Came in a pack of three with extra filters. All right, fancy pants. I'm just a regular synthetic two ply that retails for three ninety five at the rejection shop. Wait, hey Masky, what's he looking at? Is it Snappy Chat? Is it Yubtub? Is it Tic Tac? Is it... Stop calling me Masky! It's Surface Lot and will you just be quiet? Oh, you were right. He is watching Yubtub. It's Cats vs. Cucumbers. Oh, I love that one. <coughs> oh, no. What's wrong? Masky. Stop calling me Masky! He ate garlic for lunch again. Oh, yuck. Oh, it sucks being you. We had dark chocolate with a hint of meat. Mmm. <coughs> it's the, it's the, it's garlic. That was the worst thing I've ever <coughs> smelled. Darren, you're right. Darren, Darren. Garlic, it. Yeah. <coughs> it got in my mouth. <coughs> Oh, you yeah, I think it's dissipating. You're all right, old chap. Yeah, she'll be right, mate. Don't worry, be happy now. <laughs>
Don't worry. Do 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 do. Be happy. Do 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 do. Don't worry. Be happy now. Oh, gotta go. See you, mate. Nice to know you. Tired of scrubbing your hands with stinky sanitizer? Has panic buying reduced your toilet paper ration to four squares per visit to the loo? Then 2022 is the year for you. Say goodbye to 1.5 meter markers and hello to new school activities. So long to panic purchasing of paper products and hi to delicious new sanitizer. 2021's not for you, then get your very own 2022. In 2021, we see disturbing dots on the ground, reminding us to stay 1.5 meters away from each other. 2022 doesn't have distancing dots, it has super smileys, dots that smile at us from the ground and make us feel bright and happy. And stinky, slimy sanitizers, they're not a problem anymore. In 2022, sanitizers will be made of chocolate essence. Simply apply, lick and dry. 2021's not for you? Then get your very own 2022. Do you have enough loo paper for lockdown? 2021 saw previously unprecedented panic buying. But in 2022, toilet paper is reusable. Simply use it and then store it in its handy bum bag for later. 2021's not for you? Then get your very own 2022. Are you bored with homeschooling? Ready for a change? Well then, the exciting new excursions are for you. Excursions take regular school children to exhilarating places outside the classroom. But don't worry parents, your children learn in locations where social distancing is a breeze. Like the Great Sandy Desert. 2021's not for you? Then get your very own 2022. Grab a pen, folks. The number is 1-800-968-475-6395-6285-2022. Get your very own 2022 today. Terms and conditions apply. See us for more details. This is work of fiction. Information provided is incorrect. Any facts mentioned are actually not facts, but simply the author's imagination. Any resemblance to actual facts is entirely coincidental. Oh, <laughs>